And girl, what do I always tell y'all? Stay hydrated so y'all can run. And do not be drunk or high. God bless you, babe. Do not be drunk or high during a killing spree. Hey guys, and happy Halloween. We made it. It is the end of October. And I mean, you clicked on the video. You already know I had to do it. I had to take it there. So I'm just gonna jump into it. The classic, the horror classic itself. John Carpenter's Halloween. As usual, you guys can leave your comments down below. Uh, and yeah, let's enjoy this together. Here is Halloween. Classic. Introducing our girl, the screen queen herself, Jamie Lee Curtis. Go Haddonfield, Illinois. 1963. Happy Halloween to us. It's so quiet. It's like you could hear a pin drop. Like, oh my god. That he is. That he is. He's definitely around someplace. I had to look behind me real quick. Hmm. That gets me in my heart, y'all. My soul, my heart. If just. Woo! Not the butcher and I, oh my lord. Mm. He looks taller. Obviously it's a cameraman holding the camera for that, you know, for the first person point of view of Michael, but, oh. Not the little arm and hand trying to reach down around the camera. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. It's just, you know, when you know how things are filmed, it's it just makes it funny sometimes. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to blank this out, y'all. Can't show no tatas on YouTube. No, honey. Oh, girl, turn around and run. Get Just run. Girl. That little boy just snapped. One day he just woke up and said, Fuck it. Michael? First of all, that is a big ass knife. Why is it that long? <laughs> I'm like, sir. <laughs> Smith Grove, Illinois. October 30th, 1978. If y'all hear noise in the background, by the way, but that's not the movie, my dog is literally like right there. The cats are in here, the dog's in here, we all just chilling. I needed them for moral support. Loomis, Dr. Loomis. Donald Pleasant, rest in peace. And my girl. Nice. The driveway's a few hundred yards up on the right. Just try to understand what we're dealing with here. Don't underestimate it. Right. That's rule number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Sheesh. It's overwhelming, Doctor. I mean, you actually never want them to get out. Never. Hell no. Ooh. Girl. They are out and about. Look some engagement. Shouldn't we Come on, move? 
Mm -hmm. And he, Loomis knows. He has been waiting. Oh my lord. Shouldn't we go on up to the hospital? Loomis said, shut up, girl! You don't know what we're dealing with. I've been with him for 15 years. Now, honey, why would you do that? Girl, get out of there. What are you doing? Right, just let him have it. Take it, Michael. Leave me alone. Jesus. The evil is gone. Y'all hear that? My thing is, if you knew it was, if it was coming and it was gonna happen, y'all should have beefed up security. Y'all should have. I don't like y'all shouldn't have had tonight be the night that y'all transfer him. But I guess the stars have aligned, and here we are back in Haddonfield, and it's Halloween. Peaceful, quiet Haddonfield. Well, for 15 years, that is. Lori! <laughs> okay. With your knee highs. Actually, that thing. You think those are pantyhose? Look at the house at 10 30. Be sure to leave it under the mat. Hmm. Go straight to school. Hurry up. Look at Tommy Doyle. Sure, sure, and sure, cutie. Ah, <laughs> uh, jump off a key. Girl, wait till years later when um, Big Bill and Little Bill are in there. Is it Little? No, Big John and Little John. My bad. <laughs> Where I get a little bill from? Just watch. Oh, I'm so scared. Woo! I never to go out there. I Girl! You said I gotta go. I'll see you tonight. Ooh, yeah. I wish I had you all alone. Just the two of us. Um. Michael spots you and he, he, he wants to have you all alone, just the two of y'all too. See, that's the thing about these movies. I don't know about y'all, but I can feel when somebody is staring at me. You know? I'm not responsible, Sam. Oh, no. I told him how dangerous he was. You wasn't nothing. He's your patient, doctor. If precautions weren't strong enough, you should have told somebody. I told everybody. Oh, no, he is not putting it on Loomis when Loomis has been warning y'all. Tell, tell him exactly who walked out of here last night. Mm -hmm. Tell him exactly where he's going. Period. Where he's going. He can't drive a car. He was doing very well last night. Right. Maybe someone around here gave him lessons. He can break a car, steal a car, and drive a car, and stalk teenagers. <laughs> and he learned it all in one night. But what Samuels is really talking about here is all in this day of reckoning for himself. How does Samuel view his fate differently? Oh, oh, hell. Mm -mm. That's not normal. Fate was somehow related only to religion, whereas Samuels felt that. Well, fate was like a natural element, like earth, air, fire, and water. Samuels definitely personified fate. In Samuels exactly. writing, fate is immovable like a mountain. Mm. That is not normal. Stand kids, uh, booze and all that. Uh huh. Michael says, Slow down. <laughs> Stop tripping, Toby. I gotta kill him later. 
<laughs> Michael's shoes is clicking and clackling. What shoes he got on? He is so close to him. Leave Tommy alone. He's on his way. He is already there. You gotta believe me, officer. He is coming to Haddonfield. He is not on his way, honey. He is there. Yes, I know him. I'm his doctor. You must be ready for him. Mm -hmm. Phelps Garage, and that's how he got the the overalls or the jumper, whatever you call it. And so does he. Okay. God, can you take a joke? Michael really thought about it too. He really thought about it. He said, um, skirt! You know, Annie, someday. You know what? I'll get y'all tonight. <laughs> I hate a guy with a car and no sense of humor. <laughs> well, are we still on for tonight? I wouldn't want to get you in deep trouble, Linda. Oh, come on, Annie. Bob and I have been planning on it all week. All right. Oh, terrific. I've got three choices. Watch the kids sleep, listen to Linda screw around, or talk to you. <laughs> what time tonight? I don't know yet. I have to get out of taking my little brother trick or treat. <laughs> treats for Bob. Funny. Take them trick-or-treating, girl, and let your currency be the candy. I'm like, girl, look! Tap around her shoulder! Look where? Behind the bush. She said it late and wrong. Come on, Laurie. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Hey, creep. Standing right there. I think you're wet. Well, home sweet home. Bye. Girl, no. Don't leave me. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I knew that was coming. Excuse me, Lori. Oh, Mr. Brackett, I'm sorry, Mr. Brackett. I guess everyone's entitled to one good scare, huh? Listen here, Officer Brackett. Do your job. Protect us. I know that's right. Go early. Go back house. To the, go back to the house early. Yeah. Oh, you are a superstition. Lock all your doors and your windows. Hide your wife. Hide your kids. And hide your husbands. Oh Lord. Close the window, girl. Close it. <gasps> See. Oh my God. Just like that. You gotta tell somebody, girl. Like, you gotta be like, hey, somebody is 
walking around. I don't know who they are, but they look crazy. Raggedy Ann's on the background, y'all. That's the real doll that the Conjuring is based off of. Mm. I don't know. It's, it's What's ridiculous, Laurie, is you not telling anybody what's going on. Like, when you see something, you say something. I'm just thinking about, like, I'd be scared. Like, you, how scared would it be? How scary would it be, right, to see what she has been seeing all day, even though no one else has seen it, supposedly, whatever, um, and then still go out walking by herself? No, girl. I would be like, Annie, or whoever, um, are y'all coming to get me? Because I'm not finna walk anywhere in Haddonfield alone tonight. I don't know, honey. The freaks, the geeks, and the weeks is all out, and I am not, I'm not about it. Girl, what do I always tell y'all? Stay hydrated so y'all can run. And do not be drunk or high. God bless you, babe. Do not be drunk or high during a killing spree. Nice, nice. Row 18, block 20. Hmm. Yeah, you know, you know, every town is something like this happened. And then he went back into the house and he kissed his wife and his two children goodbye. Oh, and then Huh? Right, oh, cut him the hell off. Uh, right over here. Uh, Why do they do it? Goddamn uh, kids. No, no. Not they. They do anything for Halloween. Not kids. He came home. And he's been there. He already got his eyes set on his prey and everything. Come on, Loomis, speed it up. Well, I wasn't. I saw somebody standing in Mr. Riddle's backyard. Probably Mr. Riddle. Mr. Riddle is 87. Can still watch. It's probably all I can do. Thanks. Mm. For that matter, I might as well be a Girl Scout myself tonight. I plan on making popcorn and watching Dr. Dementia. <laughs> Girl, don't don't inhale. Don't you know? It's just you gonna get real freaky with it. Just go ahead. Dad, Exhale through your nose. Y'all need to be more observant. I don't know, I, I can't remember when I was that age if I was that observant, but I hope I was because I had to have been. I had to have been. Maybe not maybe not as observant, but smart. Hi Annie. Lori. Hi Dad. What happened? What? What happened? Now all they took was some Halloween mask, uh, rope, and a couple of knives. Well, who do you think it was? It's hard growing up with a cynical father. Hi, girls. He's smelling. Oh, yeah. He's smelling, unless it's. He's smelling. <laughs> Sheriff. Pardon me, I'm uh, Loomis. Dr. Sam Loomis. Well, maybe a few minutes. It's, I've got to take It's just care. important. Really Ten important. Minutes. He is right there. Oh, my gosh. Just driving around. What's the matter with you? I think you knew. I'm sure he could smell it. <laughs> he, you know he could. See the look on his face? Mm -hmm. I always thought it would be cool to, to have a dad as like a cop. A cop dad. Whatever you call it. All you have to do is go up to somebody and say, you want to go to the dance? You could do that. I couldn't. I'd rather go with Ben Tramer. Oh, Ben. Ben Tramer. I knew it. <laughs> See, so you do think about things like that, huh, Lori? Right behind, just following, just tailgating, just sneaky, like y'all gotta, oh my goodness. Girl, it's nighttime now. He is 
just out and about, Lord. It just amazes me, like, I guess when you're in a town that you feel safe in, it, you don't think of these things. Time to investigate. Time to investigate. Still warm. Oh. You got hungry. Oh. Man wouldn't do that. This isn't a man. Why are y'all not getting the officer? Bra like, sir. <laughs> Standing on the lawn, he could have seen inside. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> my heart. Seems to me you're just plain scared. Yes. I am. Yeah, I, I am. Uh, I met him 15 years ago. I, I was told there was nothing left. Precisely if you knew what I knew, you would be scared too. I mean, you should be scared. I don't know if you are sane. Blank, pale, emotionless face and the blackest eyes, the devil's eyes. I still think I should notify the radio and tell television. No. If you do that, they'll see him on every street corner. They'll look for him in every house. Just tell your man to true. keep their mouth shut and their eyes open. But still, like, we kind of need her. to be on high alert, if that makes sense. I don't like that story. I thought King Arthur was your favorite. Not anymore. <laughs> Tarantula man. Lori, what's the boogeyman? The one that was following you earlier, that's the boogeyman. Having fun? Never mind, I'm sure you are. I have big, big news for you. Girl, that's Oops. Hi, Lester. I'm about to be ripped apart by the family dog. <laughs> Girl, he is trying to Lily. warn you. If you listen to Lester, Lester would have saved your life, girl. So what is this big, big news? What would you say if I told you that you were going to the homecoming dance tomorrow night? I just talked with Ben Tramer, and he got real excited when I told him how attracted you were to him. Girl, I know you're trying to help me, but don't. But don't. <laughs> I couldn't even face it. Of course he's gone. Look, it's simple. You like him, you like me, all you need is a little push. Well, it won't hurt me to go out with him, for God's sake. Shit! No, no, I just made a mess of myself. I gotta call you back. Lindsay! Lindsay in her own little world, girl. She is not worried about you. <laughs> this is Jinx. I don't know if y'all can see him. He's come to say hello. No, not the dog. No. Lindsay, Lester's barking again and getting on my nerves again. Don't do it to Lester. Oh, no. Never mind. That was like, wow. The thing, yes. What about the rest of my comic books? How's the jackal What about the boogeyman? There's no such thing. Richard said he was coming after me tonight. Do you believe everything Richie tells you? No. Tommy, Halloween night, it's when people play tricks on each other. It's all make believe. I think Richie was just trying to scare you. I saw the boogeyman. Right. I saw him outside. Mm -hmm. Watch it. Describe it. it. We probably can't right. see it. But. The boogeyman can only come out on Halloween night, right? Oh. Tommy Doyle is such a cutie pie. You're safe with Lori, Tommy. Don't worry. Girl, we can't say the same for... Oh, terrific. Oh, girl, 
girl. No, huh? that is such a scary shot. Who's there? Girl's the boogeyman. It is the oh, it's boogeyman. Brian, are you waiting for somebody? But let's not assume. Then again, y'all didn't believe Lori, so. Damn. And now she's locked in there. Girl, it's time to break a window up in this bitch. Uh-uh. It's time to break a window. I'm sorry. Y'all shouldn't have a door that closes behind you if it's locked and shuts. Doctor, where do you think you're from? I don't know, Mr. Scott. Hello? Hi, Lindsay. This is Paul. Is Annie there? Just washing her clothes. Oh, so she do know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> Lindsay do know what's going on. She just not paying attention. Thank God she answered Paul's call so that she could, you know. Oh my foot, I'm stuck! <laughs> Lindsay, 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 Lindsay,
I hate to say it, but Lori's gonna believe you too in about 15 minutes. And he is at the he is at the Myers house for what? For why? Get your ass away from there. Get your ass away. <laughs> oh, Lumis is hilarious. No oh, shit. I thought something was gonna happen because from my memory, but nothing's going on except kids playing pranks, trick or treating, parking, getting high. Death has come to your little town, uh -huh. Sheriff. You can either ignore it. You can help me to stop it. More fancy talk. That it's not fancy talk. It's You're telling him to trying to for a slaughterhouse. warn you. Damn you for letting him go. Hey, sir. Let me take my drink. This is for you, Lou. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do. First we go inside, right? Then we'll just talk a little. And then Annie will distract Lindsay. That's when we go. Okay. First I rip your clothes off. <laughs> Then we rip Lindsay's clothes off. Yeah, I think I got it. Totally. <laughs> Did he just say? I'm pretty sure he just joked. It. Let's pretend he didn't say that. Little do they know, Annie is in there. She is in there, dead as a doornail. Uh -uh -uh. You know what, Michael? Michael's a little pervert. First, he killed his sister when she was naked. Everybody's having a good time tonight. Aww. They really aren't. They having a scary time tonight. <laughs> be be happier with the children. Michael about to catch your neck. He your back. Yo. <laughs> and your crack. Girl, you not missing nothing. You you ain't missing nothing. I promise. I promise, Lori. You not missing nothing. He ain't got no good D anyway, girl. Look at him. No stroke game or nothing. Ew, and are they in... They're in the parents' bed, too, which is like, ew. Okay, get this little two-pump chump off, like, sir. Girl, he whack. I thought you were going to get me one. Yeah. I mean, he's not ugly. He's cute. But, like... There goes the famous head tilt. Hello? 
Girl. Should be calling the cops. Cause if something don't sit right, it don't feel right, it don't look right. Call the cops. Well, miss, what you, you're just sitting around like Sir, come on. How are you just noticing that? It ain't Meredith, so. Lori, do not, do not. Oh God. She's getting curious. I don't blame her, but I would call the cops. Like, it, it, it's just too <laughs> weird. She is about to go into a house of horrors. Oh my gosh. I hate this for her. Oh girl, the lights off and on. and It just don't feel right. And I know that's why she's going over there to investigate. Because it doesn't feel right. But like I said, I mean. With everything that has been happening to her since the early morning. <laughs> I'm calling the guys. I'm not going to go investigate, especially when I am the, you know, the uh, care caretaker or whatever for the little kids. Linda? Oh, it's so scary. Somebody's been stalking you all day, Lori. Like, why are you by yourself? Linda? Bob? Bob? <laughs> Bob, where you at, Bob? Girl, why that light fixture or whatever the hell that is <laughs> scared me. Oh my gosh. All right, meatheads, joke's over. It's only just begun. Come on, Annie. Ooh. Enough. Motherfucking horrors. Get out of there. Run down the stairs. Go to a phone. Out of a house where dead bodies are placed. Damn. Girl, if you done fall on your neck, that would have been it. And why is the butcher knife so damn long? Jeez. Get out of there. Come on, girl. Come on. I know you don't. Wow. He done rigged it up so she couldn't get out that way. Girl, if you don't break that damn window. Come on. Like, how freaking long were you going to take? I mean, it's messed up. I'm not laughing because the lady's not helping her, y'all. That's messed up. But it's just the way she's screaming. Like, I'd be like, call the cops. Like, uh. Michael put a little uh, pep in his step, girl, because he ain't walking his usual slow stride. 
He damn near running. Oh, girl, he already in the house. Girl, how did he even get there? Like, I'm glad she got him, but get another one and put it in his eyes. Oh, she got his eye. Girl, if you don't get up and stab him. He is not dead by a little poke of your knitting needle. And Loomis is walking around the neighborhood. He ain't here. He didn't hear Lori yell. Oh. Where were you? I went to the Myers house. I where... found the car. He's here. Where? He's three blocks down. Babies. How? I killed him. Girl, you ain't killed with no damn needle. He right behind you. And you left the knife there. Girl, you Girl, if you think he came here, you stupid because clearly you making too much damn noise. Girl, pick up the knife! Girl, and she probably thinks she killed him now. No, girl, you did not. Come on, girl, come on. That is a big ass knife! Yo, that is a big I ain't never seen a, no big ass butcher knife like that or whatever the hell it's called. I ain't never seen no um, knife that damn long. And she done dropped it again. But I ain't never seen no knife that long. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just keep, every time we get a look at it from the, you know, the side, I'm just like, why is it so big? Come here. Listen to me. Oh, girl. Girl, he is back, and you done put the knife right by him. You heard that, Looms? You heard that? Go get your boy. Come on, Looms, put it together. Pop, lock, and drop it. Come on. Lori, turn around, run, bitch. <laughs> Fact. It was. Mm. Damn. Oh, I know. I know. She's a survivor. Shit. 
But she shouldn't have kept dropping that thing. That thing was long. Okay, Michael, you can stop breathing. So damn my car. Loud. Halloween. Woo! <laughs> Happy Halloween, you guys. That was so fun. Oh my gosh. Classic through and through. Seriously, classic through and through. Um, you know, shout out to John Carpenter and the whole team. I mean, it's just De Deborah Hill. I mean, it, this film, there's a reason why Halloween is like the quintessential like slasher film. You know what I mean? It doesn't even have a lot of kills. Um, but that build up and the suspense is what I think really, really resonates and gets people. Um, I mean, I've seen this movie, I, I honestly don't even know how many times, but it's been a lot. And I still can watch it, um, you know, not having seen it for a little, you know, for a bit, but not having seen it for a bit and still be able to watch it and be scared. Like, oh my gosh. All right, well, again, happy Halloween. I hope you guys are happy, healthy, and safe. Um, we're gonna keep this, you know, movie train running. Y'all know what to do. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know your favorite part of the film. Uh, let me know your thoughts uh, and any suggestions that you have. I'll take them into consideration for sure. Otherwise, I'll be uh, picking the next film soon. And thank you guys for joining me. Until next time. Bye.